Hey everyone, welcome back to Our DC News, the weekly web series dedicated to keeping you up to date with all the DC news from the past seven days. This is episode two, and today we have a couple of pieces of news to get through, so let's not waste any time and get into the news from this week. So let's start with the biggest and most controversial news of the week. DC Studios has announced its writers for The Lantern Show coming to the DCU. James Gunn said, yes, it's true, the Lantern's DCU series is putting together a crack team of writers, based on a wonderful pilot script and bible by Chris Mundy, Tom King and Damon Lindelof. A hearty welcome to Chris and Damon Lindelof as they join the DC Studios family. No welcome necessary for old Tom King, who has been here nearly since inception. Now there have been very mixed reactions to these hirings, but no one has made more controversial comments about Damon Lindelof than James Gunn himself. Now his comment that was originally posted around 12 years ago has been circulating Twitter over the last couple of days, and I won't comment on it until after I've read it out to you. It says, Lindelof is close to Satan in my book because of the end of Lost. He's the Yuri Geller of storytellers, a total scam artist with no integrity whatsoever, and a liar. Now a few things to go through with this comment. People say this was about 12 years ago and opinions change and that's fair, but this sounds like pure hate for Lindelof. Saying he's like Satan and a scam artist for not liking the ending he wrote for Lost and then hiring him later down the road to help write one of your new DCU projects is absolutely mental. But it's also equally mental that people go through through years of comments to find this stuff. We all know James Gunn's past, the disgusting comments he made that he thought were funny at the time. But I think it's also crazy for people to go through 12 years worth of comments again to try and dig up dirt on him. If it was the FBI doing checks for an investigation, then fair enough. But these are just random upset fans that spend hours trying to find this stuff to pin against Gunn, probably just because they don't like the decisions he's made with DC. Now there is no denying that what Gunn said about Lindelof is extreme and most likely uncalled for, but really it's between Gunn and Lindelof, and if Lindelof doesn't care, or they've already talked about it and straightened things out, then people on Twitter can't really be offended for him. We don't currently know if Lindelof has seen them before being hired, but I'm certain if he hadn't seen them before, he will now with social media sharing them around. But like I said, it's up to Gunn and Lindelof to sort out. Is it unprofessional from Gunn? Yes. Is it rude and disrespectful? Yes. Was it around 12 years ago where he was in a much darker place and a much smaller director, and where social media was completely different to what it is now. Also, yes, and that's not me taking responsibility away from Gunn for any of his comments made back then, because I absolutely disagree with everything he said, and I think everyone should take responsibility for what they have said, but I'm just giving context to the actual situation. Now, some who are defending Gunn are saying it's actually a fake account and he didn't actually say it, but I'm pretty sure it's the same account that got him fired by Disney, so I think it is actually what he said. But let me know your thoughts on this situation in the comments below. Now, moving on to an Elseworlds project, Lady Gaga has been talking about her version of Harley Quinn. She says her version of Harley Quinn in Joker 2 is really vulnerable and very authentic to this movie. What I will say is that I've never done anything like I've done in this movie before, which I think is expected as I don't believe she has ever played a psychopath before. Now, moving on to Superman, James Gunn has confirmed that the movie is about halfway through filming, meaning that the movie's production should be complete roughly in July, which confirms that the film's production will be about five months long, giving them basically a year in post-production to complete the movie. And this is great news as it means nothing will be rushed, which should mean that there are no bad CGI moments in the film. Now finally, we end with My Adventures with Superman Season 2, which has just released its first episode on 
HBO Max last night. I personally haven't seen the series, but it seems quite popular with many DC fans. So make sure you go check that out on HBO Max. But that is all for today's episode of our DC News. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. I hope to see you here again next episode. So until then, I hope you have a great week. Bye.